Hi, uh, how are you? It's Jackie here from the LGFA and we're on a very, very special uh, Zoom call today. You might remember for International Women's Day, we put out a call um, for our social media users to get in touch and to nominate an LGFA hero. Well, we're very, very happy to be joined this morning by two young girls called Louise and Aoife Kane. Uh, how are you girls? Morning and thanks for coming on. Hi, thanks for having us. So you're from the Nafina Club in County Mead, is that right? Yeah. Excellent. So who was the uh, the person that you uh, nominated for uh, your LGFA hero? Uh, Dublin senior lady footballer Neve McAvoy. Brilliant. And why why are you such a so Aoife, you're in the blue top. Why why are you such a fan of, of Neve? Um, I suppose over the last couple of months or so, I've just really loved Neve's style of play and and how she plays and her attitude towards the game. Brilliant. And Aoife, are you a fan as well? Uh, Louise, sorry, are you a fan of Eve? Are you a fan of Neves as well? Uh, yeah. Excellent, excellent. So Eve and Louise, we're just going to see who's in our uh, waiting room here at the moment. In our in, in this virtual world that we're living in, and it is none other than Neve McAvoy who's connecting to audio. Good morning, uh, Neve. Hope you can hear us. Hi guys. How are Hi. you? Um, good. I'm just trying to um, set up my. Uh, earphones here so can you just bear with me for one second no problem we can hear you perfectly there neve we can actually hear you perfectly if you want to stay like that there's no problem whatsoever um yeah i'll just try and connect just because um everyone can hear you guys <laughs> <laughs> how are you good how are you very good thanks good That's so in the best traditions of of live um pieces Neve. we are recording there but you can work away and get those headphones start, sorted out anyway but just while you're doing that Neve, so who we have here are sisters Aoife and Louise Kane they're from the Nafina Club in County Mead and when we put out a call on International Women's Day to speak to your hashtag LGFA hero um, one of the strong nominations that came in was your good self and okay, I think so, so I was so I was chatting to Aoife's in the blue top and Louise is in a I think it's a black and amber top her mam Colette was saying so uh, Neve Aoife is going to explain just why uh, you were the, the the player that she uh, nominated Aoife over to you thanks I, I suppose for a while I've just loved your style of play and how you play in the game and your attitude towards the game and it, I suppose it inspires me to grow as a player playing for Nafina and for my school as well and yeah I just love watching your games and how you play. Eva, thank you so much that's so kind you're being so kind and so generous to me. Um, um, what was I going to say what position do you play yourself are you a forward? Uh, midfield. Oh, very good. And you're under what? What age group? Sorry. Uh, under fifteen and sixteen. Oh, very good. Very. So, good. Neve, okay. Aoife is fourteen, and Louise, you're going to be twelve in May, I think. Your your mum was saying. Yeah. So big birthday coming up. You looking forward to it? Yeah. Very good. So, Louise, you play as well, don't you? Yeah. So you play football and camogie. I think you both play football and camogie. Do you, Aoife? Yeah. Very very good. So, Neve, what what advice would you give these two uh, promising, talented young sports people that are coming up through the ranks? Um, I suppose I would say just to make sure to keep practicing your skills. I know it's something that people say all the time when they talk to young people. Um, but the one that I would focus on the most is um, I know everyone always says practice your weakness and of course that's really important because you know you want all your aspects of your game to be strong but I think it's really really important to practice your strengths um, and make sure you become like a really really good master at that so if your strength is at the current age group you're in if your strength is you know high fielding continue to practice that don't let that go by the wayside and think I, I'm really good at that because you want to be great at it or you want to be push even further than that and be be the best at it, if that makes sense. So I know everyone always says practice your weaknesses and that, of course, is really, really um, important. And it's something that I would definitely advocate, you know, try and make sure you're using both feet and both hands at this early age. Like you're at, you have such a good opportunity to develop as a as a whole um, footballer. And I'm so jealous of the younger girls these days and the opportunities they have to to play football and um, just be around kid, people their own age but yeah um, my main piece of advice would be become really really 
really good at your strengths and um, don't just think that I have that now and I don't need to worry about it I would say become really really good at your strengths continue to practice them and then as I said practice your your weaknesses as well so very good uh, Aoife have you a question that you'd like to ask Neve while, while she's on the call here and um, I suppose when when you were growing up as a, a younger player who was you know the main player that you kind of looked up to or was your role model great question Neve um, yeah, so Aoife, me and you are more alike than you probably think. Um, I grew up playing midfield. I played midfield my whole um, underage career. I played midfield for my club, um, even at adult level. And I played midfield with my club underage team. And then I played midfield for Dublin until I was minor. And then when I went up to minor, um, or when I went up from minor to senior, I kind of changed into a forward and tried a few different roles and things like that. Um, they felt my strengths were in that setup um up front but I didn't wasn't really like you and I didn't really have as many um female role models as as you guys maybe have you know the LGFA have done a great job and um the players the senior players are more accessible and TG Carr do a really good job and they're able to you guys are able to see us play and stuff which is great but my um role model when I was younger as a midfielder would have been Kieran Whelan I used to go and, and see Kieran Whelan play and I didn't used to know when the ladies games were on, they weren't really advertised and I didn't know who any of the players were or anything, but I knew a lot about the men's team. So um, Kieran Whelan would have been one of my favourites growing up. I um, just loved his ability to, you know, feel the ball in midfield and then he just was powerful going forward and always kicked big scores. So um, he was a favourite of mine. I don't know if um, you'll probably have to go onto YouTube to look up some clips of him. <laughs> <laughs> He's a couple bit older. Um, so yeah, but he was, he was a great player. And then I suppose I was very lucky because I had Sinead Hearn on my club team. And although she's only, she's not that much older than me, she's only four or five years older than me. She, she played with Dublin, um, from a very young age. So I was in a position to, you know, learn a lot from her. And, um, as we know, she's one of the greatest forwards of all time. So, uh, I was really really close with her and really looked up to her and the way she conducts herself and things like that on the pitch. So, That's Very it. good. <laughs> Louise, would you like to ask um, Neve a question? Um, the, a few days before your All-Ireland final, what preparation do you do? Great question. Um, so we still just train um, as normal. You know, we try not to think of the All-Ireland final as a really big occasion. We can, kind of try and take all that emotion out of it. So, um, we'd still just train on a Wednesday and a Friday like we would have for all the previous games and we try and take all the kind of emotion out of it and think about the job that we need to do and then I um, so I train on the Friday with the team and um, we'd have our last kind of address from the management and they tell us all our jobs and all our roles and um, so I'd take a note of that and um, try not dwell on it too much until the day of the game and then the day before the game, I will be quite routine based. I find it helps me to settle my nerves. So I kind of do similar things, not really stringent and not really strict where I'm um, putting pressure on myself to do the same things. But I'd always try and go for a coffee with my teammates. So as I mentioned, Sinead already, um, Nicole, I've played together with Nicole Owens. We're all from, from the same area and we go for um, breakfast and a coffee together. Um, we go for a sea swim and then I'd kind of just cook my dinner and, and watch a movie and that just helps me you know keep the nerves at bay and um it's not really strict routine but it's kind of does generally take that format and um yeah just it's just what keeps me relaxed and keeps me calm so I'd suggest just you know do things that you enjoy meet friends um I obviously live in a seaside town I like to go swimming but whatever it is that that you think would um help you get ready or help you stay nice and calm and nice and relaxed the day before a game is what I'd suggest. Oh. I'll just take myself off mute. Um <laughs> Aoife, I'm just conscious that you have school today as well. So we'll we'll stay for another little couple of minutes with um Neve and I'd say Neve is very tired after a busy day as well. So <laughs> Aoife, have you one more question you'd like to ask Neve? Um yeah I suppose what's it like I suppose being part of a team who's won four in a row with the Dublin ladies following on in, in the men's footsteps? Um, yeah, great question. Um, you know, it's extra special for me because I'm that bit older than some of the girls who've only ever experienced success. So there is some girls in our team who've only ever won All-Ireland finals being involved with the Dublin team. But 
I'm I'm getting on now. Um, <laughs> and I would have had um, some very significant losses that um, at that time felt like they were going to shape my career and I wasn't going to be able to ever get over the line. So, um, you know, it's really special and the group was really special anyway. And I would have been friends with lots of these girls for life, regardless of, of um, having won or not. But I do think that um, silverware kind of solidifies that bond. So um, we'll be able to look back in like 10 or 20 years um, on like the anniversary of some of the victories we have and just share those special reminisce on those special memories together. And I think um, the biggest thing that I've taken from it is just human connection and um, the friends I've made and the memories we've we've created together. And um, so I suppose that's the biggest thing for me. You know, sport is a really good way of meeting people who have common goal and a common interest and I just um, encourage you two girls to keep it up for, for as long as you can. And, um, you know, it's a really, really nice way of meeting people and you create great friendships and great memories. So the biggest thing for me really is the connections I've made with, with the great people I've been involved with. So Very good. That. And Louise, have you one question as well before, um, before Neve has to pop off? Um, what's the highlights of your career? That's a good question for a player that's won so much, Louise. <laughs> um, I think um, a highlight of my career would be obviously um, 2010 was, was a big win. I was involved in the team in 2010 that were in the first ever All-Ireland, but I was very young and I don't think I really appreciated it. So I'd have to say a highlight. <laughs> um, I thought I kind of did take it for granted, I have to admit. Um, so a highlight... I do think would have been in 2017. So having lost the three All Ireland finals previous to that, and then finally getting over the line in 2017 was was really special. Um, 2018 was amazing because it kind of gave us that extra bit of belief that it wasn't just a one off thing, and that we were a really, really, really good team. And um, this is an unusual one, but um, we won the national league um, in 2018, and it will stick out as one of um, my favorite memories with the, that group of players, even though obviously there isn't as much media hype around it or there isn't as many people there, but we'd never won the National League before and we'd obviously won the All-Ireland the previous year. So to win the National League in 2018 um, in Parnell Park, which is, as you know, in Dublin, um, was lovely and um, it just was really good to be involved with that group that day. And as I said, um, you know, making making great memories with with friends and and people who are really important to you. So, I'd say those three things. Um, twenty seventeen All Ireland and um, probably tops it off, and then the National League and the All Ireland in twenty eighteen. Wow. So, Neve, I have a little secret for you as well. I think um, Eve, am I right in saying your club, Shauna Ennis, is from your your club? So it might be Mead yeah. against Dublin later on this year in in, in the <laughs> championship. So um, yeah. look out, look, you might be you, you might be marking Shauna Ennis later this year, Neve. <laughs> Oh, brilliant. <laughs> um, girls, I just want to say thank you so much, um, you know, for nominating me to come on and have a chat with you. I'm, I'm so grateful and um, I'm so proud of all the, the young girls who are, um, you know, out there playing our sport and helping it grow and, uh, you know, just make, making the whole sport in general become better and better. And, you know, the standard of the game has really risen over it last number of years and it's it's girls like yourselves who are invested at such a young age that are making making such a big difference um for for our sport ladies football and, and for women in sport in general so keep up all the good work and yeah if you ever need anything don't be afraid don't be a stranger yeah wouldn't it be lovely if we could arrange a little meeting when when everyone when you're home neve and everything is back to some sense of normality it'd be lovely to to link yeah, you exactly up with, with, with Eva yeah. and louise um yeah. So, guys, I'm going to let Neve go. Is that okay? And if you want to say a, a goodbye to Neve, who is one of our, our our serious role models, and we hope you're doing well, doing well in Australia, Neve, and best wishes and stay safe. Thank you so much, Jackie. Thank, Thank you so you. much, Neve. Best of luck with so you, Take care. Oh, See you soon, so Neve. I got to keep you, I got to keep you, Aoife and safe. Louise, on the call for a sec. Thanks, Neve. Yeah. Thanks, okay, Neve. Keep safe, guys. Bye. 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 So, guys, what did you think of that? Oh, I'm just so delighted to to get the chance to talk to Neve. She's such an amazing player and out in Australia. So yeah, just so delighted, so grateful as well. Very good, Eva. It was lovely to have you on. And how and did you enjoy that, Louise? Yeah. 
Brilliant. So I think the advice from Neve was to stay practicing and, and stay loving your sport and um, to, to get the most out of your sport. And we wish you so well, Aoife and, and Louise, and have a lovely Thank day. You. You've schooled today, Aoife, have you? Yeah, my, my home ec teacher um, was was uh, very grateful and, and left me, <laughs> skipped a few minutes and still joined class now. But um, yeah, thanks to her. Very good. And you have a good excuse this morning for, for missing a few minutes of school. Louise, have you schooled or when are you back or what's the, what's your situation? Um, I'm back Monday, so uh, the principal said we don't have any school today. Oh, very good. And you might get away with no homework as well. You'd never do on Monday. So you can tell them that we said no homework for you on Monday. Is that okay? Yeah. Ethan, Louise, it's great talking to you and look after yourselves and stay safe and stay you well. Too. And we'll see you soon, okay? See you soon. Thanks so Thank much. You. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.